Hi, today we are going to learn how to use your DSLR camera, in particular a Canon M50, in Linux using an app that I've created. Hi all, it's Stephen here from the Harvest is Ready. I hope you all are being empowered by God. Now I want to show you a quick little app that I've that I've made that takes advantage of two software programs. That's GPhoto 2, which is a camera library that helps you plug in your camera into Linux to so that you can capture devices, get your photos up phones on. It's a really powerful tool. It also gives you the ability to capture the movie directly from the camera. Now what it doesn't do is actually create a nice interface to be able to do that quickly and seamlessly in Linux. But I've created an app. It takes advantage of the GPhoto 2 command line interface and also the loopback device that you can install in your operating system as well. So what this program is going to do is going to create two loopback devices, one that you can use with OBS as a virtual camera and the second one is going to be used as the web camera itself for your camera. So in my case it's an M50 camera and I've put some workarounds into it and we'll go through that right now. So let's see how that works. So let's let's go over into into here so we can see our little screen so we're going to be using it later but if we look here hopefully you can see that uh, yeah control let's hit go control make it bigger okay anyway so if we look at the devices here we've got two devices with oh, actually just one device which is a 920 camera you can see that in here uh, hopefully can we make it bigger yeah but anyway view zoom in oh let's zoom in okay there we go view zoom in zoom in okay hopefully that's a little bit better for you to see now now you can see the two devices here so we don't have any virtual devices yet available to us now what we're going to do is we're going to run the program okay you can install this program through my github page there's the it's written in gambus so you need if you want to compile it yourself you need to download gambus 3 the latest version of Gambus anyway, but most distributions are running the latest version, so there shouldn't be any problem there. But I've, anyway, what I've done is I've compiled a deb and an RPM. You can look at the releases and download those there too. But the link will be in the description below, so that's all good. So let's have a look at it there. So we're going to run that now. So it's called G Photo Webcam. So there we go. So we're going to launch that. Okay, I've got it set up to automatically start. When you first start, this won't happen, but all you need to do Assuming that you've already got sudo installed in your system, type in your password. Let me get that type in properly. Hit enter, and it will start to initialize your camera. And as you can see, it's successfully found a Canon EOS 5 M50, and it's made a red camera running at 1024 by 576. Now this is about the best you're going to get out of most cameras. Okay, um, the reason being is that um, I'm not sure exactly why, but anyway, you get a stable image accordingly, so we can look at that there, and even if you go to preview, you can see that there. Okay, you can see my nice little mug in, and the other camera now. So it says here, right click to stop and come back to the screen. So what's this done? So in the loopback device, we've got we've got a reset at start. So when you first start, you'll just come to this, you can, you can have it automatically starting everything up. So if you check this box, and you check this box, when you start the program, all you do is type in your password, and then it will automatically set up the camera accordingly. Nice and simple, nice and easy. And let's have a look at the list here. It's created two devices here, the Canon EOS M50 and the OBS Stream for you to use. Okay, so yeah. So then, that's all done. That's ready to start. Do not close this app, because once you close this app, the camera will stop working. Okay, so let's go back to OBS now. Let's bring that to full screen so we can have a look at it here. Let's. Go, um, I'm going to go to studio mode so you can see it a little bit better. And we're going to go. Uh, we're going to go to camera. Here we go. Uh, no cameras. Yeah, because that's where all my cameras are. So there we go. So you see that here. I've only got one camera there, but we're going to add another one. And we're going to remove that other one accordingly. So here we're going to plus this. We're going to add a video for Linux device. And we're going to call it an M50 because it's the name of my camera. Okay, so there we go. So we're going to add that in there. And there we go. It's got it listed there. The EOS M50 platform, blah, 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 blah. Video loopback, da, da, da. Leave unchanged. So we can, we're can. we going to take off the buffering so we don't get a delay. And we'll just sleep. Okay. Now, it's a little bit small. 
but we can make that we can increase that size accordingly and we can disable the other camera in here so you see it's got a blue background so let's add some filters into that oh, let's add some filters we're going to add a chroma key okay and we're going to change that to blue oh, let's change the settings down do, 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 do. Ooh. oh yeah and you can see the cut the quality is improved quite dramatically so yeah so let's just put some key some color spool there we go okay close so there we have it as you can see we've made we've successfully used our web camera our dslr web camera our m50 into that now let me quickly go through one little thing with you with this program here i've got a little checkbox here that says m50 right that's because sometimes when you start the M50 camera, it does it at the mobile rate. Now I've got, when you check this one for your M50, it will automatically detect what resolution it's running and make sure it keeps refreshing until it gets it. For Unfortunately, the first command sometimes doesn't take for some reason. Okay, caveats. Let's have a look. Let's go through some caveats with you. Let's, let's just go back to, so we can look at each other properly. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, okay, so caveats now what 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 do i mean by that okay the program as far as I'm, it's been running quite well for me okay if you've got any problems what i recommend you do is to restart the camera um and restart the app okay and then everything should come back including obs as well unfortunately okay but what i have found once it's up and running i've never had really any problems it's just usually when the initial startup sometimes the camera will report an error or whatever all i've done is i've simply just restart started the camera and if there's anything running in the background and anything turning the camera off will stop any of those processes running so you're in a nice clean state so there we go so that's basically it so have a look in the description below for where you can download this program it makes it so much easier to set up your camera as a dslr camera hey if you're running windows or mac go to, for canon go to their website they've got a driver for you for windows and mac that can actually do this for you this is a simple way for linux users to get your dslr camera in now this is an alpha i haven't tested with other brands there's a whole list of cameras that G Photo 2 supports and I assume they should work fine with this app as well. Please tell me. Just disable the G50 the um, M50 checkbox so that you know you don't you know so it doesn't do anything special but I think it should be fine. Now if you wanted to auto start like I said um, you can check the boxes in there for um, activate at start on the webcam page and restart reset at start at the same time. So yeah there we go. So that's it. So as for usual, you know, we've come to the end of the video and we're going to ask you to like, if you like this video and you want to see more, please like, comment and subscribe on my YouTube page. If you want to see something, what I'm doing with ministry, go over to Facebook and you can see, or Faith Social, and you can see exactly what I'm up to there, you know, and I post there periodically as well. So yeah, have a great time, be empowered by God and be blessed.